Well, in 2011, we had 61 total deaths of firefighters in the U.S. while on duty, just the lowest number we've had since we started doing the study in 1977. But as usual, the number one cause of deaths was um, cardiac-related, uh, with uh, 31 of the 61 deaths. Uh, the next major cause were um, deaths at, um, at the scene of fires, structure and wildland fires. Well, from going back to 1997, we've averaged about 100 on-duty fatalities a year. And then last year we had, uh, for 2010, we reported 73, and then in 2011 we reported 61. So we've had a couple of really significant decreases in the last couple of years, which um, we'll have to see if they can be sustained over a longer period. It's really hard to tell, because they're, they're kind of random, independent events, it's really kind of hard to tell what the, the main drivers are. But we've seen a reduction in the number of structure fires over the years, so that's driven down the, the, the deaths at, um, occurring at structure fires. We've also seen in the last few years a really concerted effort in the fire service to encourage the use of seatbelts. And we only had four crash deaths last year, which is far below what we've been seeing. Uh, that probably won't be repeated in 2012, but we may be seeing the effect of initiatives like that and um, more work in the area of uh, health and fitness across the fire service might also be playing a role in reducing the deaths.